Achieving superior edge quality is important when creating acrylic signs on a CNC or laser machine. So here's some quick tips when using cast acrylic for a fantastic frosted, polished, or laser cut edge. The process starts with creating a good tool path and so you'll want to watch your vectors closely. As you can see here we have two logos. One is a typical DXF file and the other is an Adobe Illustrator file. And as you can see they both pretty much look the same but when we uh, get a closer look at the DXF file the DXF files generally have a lot of extra points or nodes and way too many control points that will result in a very complex toolpath that must calculate movement between all of those points. And so it's best to use something more like the Illustrator Bezier curves and sort of keep your nodes or points to a minimum. And this will create a much better toolpath, a less complex toolpath, and a better edge finish. And as always, use the right bit for the job. Use the recommended feeds and speeds. Make sure material is well secured to the table. You may want to consider two passes, a rough and a finish, and cast acrylic machines better than extruded, and use a properly fit collet with minimal wear. For this first cut example, we'll be using an Amana solid carbide CNC spiral O flute, and that's quarter inch, and it's best for producing a frosted edge effect. And what we'll do is we'll do a single pass and the feed speed is set to about 125 inches per minute, the plunge rate of 45 inches per minute, and the spindle is at 18,000 RPM. And it was a relatively quick cut time at three minutes and 44 seconds or so. And in this case, we can do a single pass because the the cut is a pretty straightforward cut and we're not going for a glossy edge. So there it is. Um, that bit produces the perfect frosted edge effect. So next we'll move on to the Onsrud. And this is also a quarter inch solid carbide O flute bit. And we're going to use that to produce a polished edge. And We'll go with a single pass on this one just to show you that it's possible to do a single pass and still get a quality edge finish. Uh, the feed is a much slower at about 30 inches per minute with a plunge of 20 inches per minute and 18,000 on the RPMs. And for the best polish edge, it's best to try two passes and make the first rough pass slightly oversized by about 10 thousandths and don't cut all the way through the material. And then on the second pass or finish pass, you can remove that offset, that 10 thousandths offset, and cut all the way through the material. You can also slow down the inches per minute and set the spindle speed to a higher RPM. Now let's move on to the laser. In this example, we're cutting at 60 inches per minute at 60% power. The laser cut is the closest to an actual flame polished edge, and you can run the cut slower to get that true glass-like clear edge. Here at Laguna, we have a wide variety of CNC and laser machines for industrial level application or for small shops and hobbyists. For more information, call us anytime or find us on the web at lagunatools.com.